Hi folks, thank you for staying tuned to our channel. I know you've been having a good time watching our videos and learning much from it because I am very, very optimistic that you've been learning so much from our self-defense programs. Today we've come to thrill you with a wonderful uh, one which you might not really see it as so important but after the the, the, the examples and the explanation and the illustrations you will be able to understand that you need it so much and this is what I'm talking about is how to how to have a safe fall remember falling may come at any time maybe consciously or consciously even at your home you might just maybe walk in especially those of us that maybe have um, uh, tiles or marbles in our houses can easily slip and fall. Now, when you sleep, how do you fall safely? So this is what we are going to learn. Now, stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, let's say the action for today. First of all, we want to show how you can take the fall. Then I will explain why and the importance of those falling. Now, let me show an example of the fall. Then I go down to explain how the process, the processes, the procedures. Now, this is the fall. Now, how do you do that? It is safe. I take it one more time. Just go. All right. Now, this is how it is done. When you are falling, your back. This is where your spinal cord is. You do not fall flat on the back. You position either this side or the other side, but at least a side of it. And that's the side that will drop. Whichever side that you position to drop, that's the side that will drop. This side or that side. Secondly, you tuck in your neck, your head, so that it will not jerk back. Because the moment you drop wrongly, here will jerk back. And what happens? You land your, your head back of your head on the floor and you know what that means and uh, thirdly you must program your waist region such that it will not get to the ground the only area of your body that drops on the floor is this part or that part whichever part of your back that you will program to drop is the area that drop not here and not there okay now after this explanation I'll show the example once again, then I'll give us the reasons why we should learn this fall. Now, let me take the fall again. Now, take a good look at how the fall goes. Take a good look at how my back, my head will position and the waist will position. I go. There. It's up. Not down. There. It's equally up. Now, if you look at it very well, King you will realize that, come and put your hand behind me, here. Place your hand on the back. Good. Can you see that? The whole of that side is up. The only area that is down is there. Good. Now, how do, why do we need this fall? Just like I mentioned in my introduction, I said, fall comes knowingly or unknowingly. You might position yourself to fall because there's an attack that you're conscious of. And you might also position yourself to fall without you being conscious of anything. Either maybe you just sleep and you fall. Now while you sleep and fall, if you've not known the principles of the falling, you will fall and fall badly and you get yourself injured. But if you have known the principles of the falling, when that sleep comes, takes you unawares, you will just find yourself taking a comfortable and accurate fall. And you get up without nothing happening to you. Okay, now let's do an example of a conscious fall which comes by an attack. Okay, now I am right here and he comes with an attack. Now bring a slap kick to me. Slap kick, go. That's the fall that comes with an attack. It may be any other act attack, but I'm just using that as an example for you to know that you can program yourself and fall comfortably 
without injuring yourself with an attack. Just like I said also, when you, 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 if you learn it well, that's when you can try it. Don't try it as a novice. I have told us the process, how you can assume it. Take yourself, break. Okay, let me do it this way. For, for easy uh, access, for those ones that would want to learn. First of all, position yourself and sink. Sink down. Having a target of either there or there. Like I said, one side of your back must drop, not the full part. Okay? This way? Okay. Now, bend back. As you're bending back, tuck your waist in, tuck your head in. As you go through <laughs> That is it. You can start it by using a soft floor for those that want to learn. But I, like I said, I will I will urge you to learn it because it is something that you must know. Like I said, you can use it consciously or unconsciously. Okay? Thank you. That's that for today. We will come your way again with other actions. Stay tuned.